<clears throat> All right, Successful Indie Author, 5-Minute Focus, Episode 211, The Lantern Effect. And this is a term that I use. I couldn't find the, the real term, but there is one. <clears throat> when you've written yourself into a corner and you need something to happen, but you can't come up with a possible explanation for it, and this is a shortcut, it's kind of a dirty writer trick, so, so don't tell anybody. Have the two characters say, I, I can't believe that happened. And they talk about it real quick, and then they move on. So it's like they're shining the light on this plot point, and it needs to be a subplot point. It can't be the main plot. Like, oh, my God, he killed everybody. And uh, this character was nowhere near any of it. No, it needs to be plausible. But this is a subplot. If you're trying to wrap it up and just things aren't working, you can, you can kind of cheat and use the lantern effect. Just have the characters say, that makes no sense. I agree. That's ridiculous. I can't believe it happened that way. And then they move on. So now what they've done is they've addressed the reader's concern is that this isn't making sense to me by talking about it. It's like, oh, okay, even they recognize that this doesn't make sense. So there must be a plausible explanation somewhere. And we just don't have time to talk about it. So save that one, put it in your back pocket and don't use it too often, but recognize it when you see it. And it's kind of cool. You'll see uh, a lot of movies. You'll see those kinds of things pop in there because the writer's just like, hey, we don't have time for this. Or the screen, the, the movie got cut down from two hours and 20 minutes to two hours and three minutes. And how do we cut this? Oh, my God, we can take this. We can save a minute and a half if we cut out this long explanation of this one thing. So it may be kind of cheesy, but everybody does it eventually. Maybe. Maybe you don't, but you could now that you know about it. But don't tell anybody because <clears throat> anyone uh, when you're solving plot points and things like that, you need to have explanations. Everything has to blend together. It all has to make sense. Uh, the lantern effect. Sometimes things just don't make sense and you don't have an explanation, but you need it to work this way. And if you thought hard enough and worked some other elements in, maybe you could make it work. But subplots only don't use it for a main plot. And that's different from the spotlight effect, as I was looking on the internet for what this was. The spotlight effect is where you think people are watching you more than they are. This is uh, when you're self-conscious, when you go to the store, it's like, hey, I'm in my, uh, I, I wear my dressy sweats to the store because, you know, people are looking at me. Actually, they're not. I dress one step above a homeless person and that's my clothes are clean. Otherwise, that's the only difference. So uh, it, nobody's looking at me. I'm not looking at anybody else. I don't care. They don't care. That's the spotlight effect when you think you're in the spotlight, but you're really not. And he, that's even as an author, are you really in the spotlight? Well, you want to be to a certain extent, but you don't want to be. There's a lot to be said for anonymity, and that's on the CNM show. We need to get somebody in who's really, really successful and talk to them about how it changed their life and not in a good way. Success isn't something that you want to, uh, hey, I want to be successful. I want everybody to know who I am. No, you really don't, because if you think about that, then you can't go anywhere or do anything without people pawing at you and doing weird things, and you probably don't want that. So <clears throat> that's a spotlight effect. You think that's happening to you, but it's really not, just because uh, you're wearing your not dressy sweats when you go to the store instead of your dressy sweats. And as people start going back to work in person, uh, yeah, 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 spotlight effect. Take a look now. Uh, today, put on your blue jeans that you were wearing before lockdown started, uh, the two-week lockdown, uh, like uh, 58 weeks ago. Put those on and see how they fit. They better fit. And if they don't, you better get on that because spotlight effect, if you're wearing your dressy sweats to work and you shouldn't be, well, then people are going to know. They're going to know the truth. Simple as that. Spotlight effect, lantern effect, all stuff that uh, to shine a light on to change the conversation. Because if you think people are watching you, it changes the conversation you're having in your mind about what you're doing. But if they're not really, then you're free to be you. Same with your characters. If you've got a situation that should be, that that really shouldn't take some attention but does need addressed, then you can throw it in there that I can't believe that something like this happened. Oh my God, to me either. Now, now let's look at this other thing. So it just takes a focus off that thing. It removes the spotlight from an issue that could be an issue. There you go. Simple enough. All right, everybody. Peace, fellow humans.